Alright, here we go. We got a little uh, update video after about a year and a half. Uh, you know, I've been in hibernation a little bit. So, I do apologize. A lot of stuff's been going on in the past year. Just got everything wrapped up. So, uh, I'm back to working on the car again, the A6 Caprice. So, uh, like I said, I apologize. I know a lot of y'all were looking forward to more updates and more continuous videos, but I just didn't. I don't know, just stuff was going on, it just wasn't in the mood to make videos, and I hadn't made any progress on the car at, or anything really in the past year and a half, so there wasn't no use putting a video up. I mean, I could put a video of random something, but I tend not to do that, but I may start doing it just to put a variety of, into my channel, so, uh, which is majority is going to be, we all know what it is, LS Swapping and 86 Caprice, so, and this is on a budget. I ain't the richest man in the world. I ain't even rich at all. But the little money I do got, it's gonna go into here. It's gonna be my little project. So, uh, like I said, I do apologize, you know. But hopefully, I'll, hopefully I won't go into hibernation again. I don't know how I have my episodes, but uh, I'm weird. So, I guess I'll go ahead and show y'all what's going on with the, uh, with the motor. All right, y'all. All right, here we go. Got everything buttoned up to where I like it right now. That's the way it is right now. So, uh, I just, these ain't bolted up. The coil packs and the intake is just sitting on there. But all the little holes and crevices are covered up so no wasps, just no bugs gets in there. You know, because it's out here in the open. And you can tell this car has been sitting for a while. And, that, and my buddy put that on there. LSX bitches. I don't know. That's funny. I thought I forgot it was up there. <laughs> but, uh, alright, here it goes. It's the 5.3 LM7, 117,000 miles out of a Silverado 2001. It's a drive by cable. If that's right, you know, with the actual physical cable. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I got mostly everything. All I need is a starter, uh, power steering pump, uh, alternator i think that's all i really need on the front then uh i haven't haven't got to rewind and we rewire, rewiring the harness just yet um really don't look forward to it but it's gonna happen it's getting full efi all the way uh right now it's bolted up to the 700 r4 just for uh test fitting and making sure everything was buttoned up right but uh the 7 r4 is coming out of there and i'm gonna try to pick up a 460e this weekend or this friday they got a half off sale at the junkyard and i'm gonna see what i can grab so uh after i grab that then the harness and everything else fall into place i may start to do the fuel lines and i'll uh I'll put that to a separate video. That way I'm trying to wrap, put put this together and just show y'all what's going on. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to just focus on motor-wise, fitment issues and stuff. So, try to make it quick, maybe under five, six minutes. All right, here's, here's what we got. We have Car Shop Inc. One-inch setback adapter plates. LS engines into a early model. Small block Chevy chassis. Uh, they're about 60 some bucks. They're great. I love them. They're awesome. Only problem is they don't come with the bolts for these. That's the only issue. I used the ones out of the Transdap kit that I had. But uh, that'll be a separate video. But there's the one in setbacks. Car Shop Inc. With I got three washers holding it, putting it together to uh, give it some uh, clearance for the cross member pan. It's got the CTSV pan on it. Um, it's about a quarter inch more lift on it with these three washers. I measured them out. They're, they're a quarter inch spacer, basically. It's got new frame mounts. Um, old style clamshell painted orange. But uh, here's my clearance. Here's how it goes. I'm pretty happy with it now. Before it was pretty damn retarded. Let me see. As you can see, you can see 
see it right there. No, I can't really make the video up. Let me see if I can get my go. It's right there. As you can see, it's about as good as I can get it. But I think that's good enough. It's good enough to put my finger in. So, like I said, everything everything going everything on this car is about a quarter inch tight. Although I can't really get the camera. And, uh, but I don't think it's going nowhere. It's got the full weight of the transmission, motor, everything is bolted up and it's not going anywhere when you frame out. So I doubt there's going to be really much movement. And if it is in there, there's going to be a problem with that. So as you can see, it's right there. Damn transmission line went in the damn way. Get a better look at it. As you can see right, right there, it's where it's at. Zooming in, zooming in action on it. Come on, focus. I think it's good enough. Shouldn't be no issue. I'm happy with it now. The transdat plates set it a little bit, the motor a little bit lower, and I could not get it off the cross member. Pull them car shop ink plates, set it right back up to where I needed it. So it's good and bolted up now. I'm a, uh, when I change the transmission, I'm going to just drop the transmission from under the car because I got the motor where it needs to be and I don't mess with this no more. Not unless I run into something. Well, yeah, that's about it. Uh, fits pretty good. I ain't gonna... I haven't fixed, fixed, figured out my manifold issues yet. And I don't know if budget-wise it's gonna include headers or... Did you just see that wasp going to that hole? Look at that shit. Get the hell out of there. I swear, I need to uh, cover this thing up quick. But yeah, I got a rag covering up the old filter thing and just keep these little fuckers out of the damn engine. But yeah, that's about it. The uh, clearance on this side is pretty good. There's really no issues on that side. The only issue, the only tight spot that might give somebody a heart attack with me. It's right down in there. Right there. I think it's good enough. I don't think it's going to do nothing. It ain't going to go nowhere. It's probably about an eighth of an inch of clearance. But it ain't, I don't think it's going to hurt nothing. It's just a thing. It ain't actual metal, so if anything go crazy, it'll just bust this out. But uh, that's about it. That's how it is on the back. Fits pretty close with the intake back here. But it's got plenty of room. It's no problem there. So if you're gonna do this in Caprice, uh, you know, car shop one inch setbacks, a couple washers, new frame mounts, put them in there while you're at it. CTSV pan, and you're good. So, uh, yeah, no, I put Loctite on these things too. Just a, a thread locker to keep them from coming out. And I passed my video time, so, uh, that I wanted to. All right, that's about it. Uh, and it's got semi gloss paint on the frame part uh i'll put up another video of how i got how i'm gonna run the fuel lines and stuff so uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up but like i said i apologize for not getting back to y'all but y'all better stay tuned because this is gonna this is gonna be another uh lengthy little project so uh y'all stay tuned all right y'all y'all take it